You may remember this iPod from a previous video of mine. This is that 60 gigabyte 5th gen. I don't know if I uh, showed it in the video, or previous video I should say. I don't know if I showed it or not, but uh, this thing doesn't work, it doesn't sync on the computer. You connect it up and it shows a uh, error, what was it, a USB device not recognized, code 43. And um, I did some research, I did some troubleshooting, and no matter what I did, I just couldn't get it to work. So I did the uh, next best thing, and I uh, ordered a new motherboard. Yeah, so this problem is usually caused by, like, I don't know, from plugging and unplugging it. So what I wanted to do here was uh, connect the, put in a new motherboard and see if this will sync over the computer again. Because if I can, this will make a nice iPod. Because even the battery still holds a pretty good charge on this. So let's get started. Now let's see if I can get this open on camera here. Got a plastic spudger. And I was able to get this iPod apart before because it had an issue with the uh, center button. Oop, I think I found our point of entry here. Okay, maybe not. Oop, there we go. I don't know if you could see any of that. My guess, probably not. But yeah, I guess I should unplug the battery first. There we go. We are now inside the iPod. So. Usually I can flip down the hard drive, but I guess not. I'm going to pause the camera here so that I can get some of these other parts out so I can continue the disassembly. Now to get the front off, there's six little screws. Three, excuse me, three on each side. And you need a pretty small screwdriver. I'll first try this one. And that's too big, so i got to find a smaller one. Found one small enough. So here we go. Now these are really tiny screws, so you want to put them somewhere. Oops. You want to put them somewhere where you won't lose them. So I just want to unscrew them all and put them somewhere safe. I'm just going to put them right here on the table. And I'll be back once it's they're all removed. Alright, all the screws are out. So we just carefully pull this off and careful not to damage anything. There we go. This is the bare chassis. Now, you want to keep this. You can see why the uh, I had to take they actually started doing it again, but you can see why I needed to take the center button of the iPod apart the first time to get the center button to click cuz the piece of I guess that's plastic. Uh, it kept it shifted over, causing it not to work very well. And it looks like it started doing it again, but that's fine. The new motherboard comes with comes with those. You want to be careful here. Want to disconnect the display. I'll probably want to clean off the display because it'll have a bunch of fingerprints on it. I got the display. Uh, been released. I just gotta pull it out carefully, of course. Oh, it might be adhesive taped down to the uh, chassis. Crap, I didn't think about that. There, I got the screen out, and I don't believe I damaged anything. That was very, I was being very delicate with it. And uh, I believe there's a uh, screw holding in. 
there's a screw holding in the motherboard. I don't know if there's a screw holding in. I don't think there's a screw holding the motherboard in. So let's see if I can just push it, push it out. I don't want to break anything. It's the problem. Yep, I guess I just push. And then it guess it's just it was just glued in, huh? There we go, there's the old motherboard removed from the chassis. Wait, I forgot almost forgot to remove the click wheel. It's kind of important, don't you think? I'm gotta be careful not to ruin this. Now the last thing I need from this motherboard is this ribbon cable for the hard drive. So I believe I'll take that. And that just comes right out like that. So now we're done with the main board. We'll get out our new one. And we'll do everything in reverse reverse order. I'm not gonna show all that because it's literally just pretty much backwards of what I just did. You can see here it's as you can see here it's starting to look like an iPod again. With the click wheel plugged back in, the screen's back in. The only thing I might I'm a little concerned about is that the person who, I guess, took this motherboard out of the iPod that it was in ripped the, uh, I could get that grounding tab. See there? Because as you can see on this one, it's uh, it's still here, and it sticks down to the, uh, the chassis. That's the only thing I'm really concerned about. But, I mean, I've seen, I've seen worse work. I mean, check out Dank Pods and his uh, Shrek Pod Pro or whatever it was. Let's see if the battery still has any charge. So I'll just get this plugged back in. Hold on, let me get the tab pulled up a little bit. Try not get it pulled up. Man, who would have thought the hardest part would be the battery contacts? I'm trying to get the battery plugged back in. So do I have anything that is comparable to tiny fingers? Okay, maybe these. Because it's a zero, it's a ZIF socket. I just can't pull the tab up. Fingers are too big. Those are also too big. any tweezers I think I might maybe have some tweezers maybe I don't have any tweezers I got it clicked up now I can uh, grab the battery cable just slide it in push down the tab the battery's plugged in and it doesn't turn on because it's likely dead. Let me go grab a charger. Now is the moment of truth. Will it turn on? And this is the, uh, this is definitely not a third, hold on. This is definitely not a first party cable, you can tell, because, you know, it's blue. But it's ten feet, and, uh, that means I know it will reach the outlet, so. Here we go. Not a great start. Maybe it's not in all the way. OK, 
Okay, what did I do wrong? Let me go grab a different cable. That's not a great start. Got another cable. So, oh man, you know it's in real good shape when it's missing the pieces of plastic. That's okay though, I know this cable works. That's a better start. Stupid tripod, and there we go. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Hey! I mean, I guess that means they did something right. And the real test would be when I plug it into the computer. Taking a little longer than I'd expect. Maybe I should put a stopwatch on the screen just to see how long this takes. Oh well. I think it's been about a minute or so. It's taking a little longer than I'd expect. Let me go see if I can find the firewire charger. We have the firewire. Um, this is a, also a generic cable, but it does work. Use it on a third gen iPod. I wonder if it locked up. Well, we may be sitting here for a little while. Ooh, but the reset trick worked. Oh, it lit up. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Holy crap, did it actually just work? It just worked. I want to I charge this up a bit before I get a computer. Why isn't this... Oh, there we go. I was putting it in wrong. I think it's laptop time. And the laptop decides to miss... There we go. Now it's now it's behaving off in here now, but I think the CRT monitor would show up a little better on your camera. The screen in the laptop's not exactly the brightest thing in the world after 17, 18 years. No way. Um so we'll plug the iPod in and we'll find out what happens. I feel like I bumped the camera. Well, I can't look right now. Okay, the iPod is. Oh! We've got an improvement from the old motherboard. It says do not disconnect. The old one didn't do that. The device is ready to use. Jim's iPod. Oh, well, it's not Jim's iPod anymore, it's my iPod. Uh, that's that's all my stuff. It looks like. Um, let's look here. The music. Ooh, look at all that. So I'm gonna call this a successful repair. I'm not gonna sync anything to it right now. There's actually some music on this iPod that I may or may not put onto my own computer. But I gotta do. Oops, wrong way.
Got to do everyone's favorite part. Any more? Nope, I think it's all in now. But there we have it. A successful video for once. I love these ones. Uh, but I thank you all for watching. If you have a comment, feel free to have one. Jeez, it's a little—it's a little late, if you ask me. Hmm, it's a, well, a little late for me anyway. Uh, thanks. What did I say? I said thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment. Subscribe if you want. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, look, a Java update available. But. Uh, I think I need to go to bed. See you guys later.